<laughs> oh, hi, everybody. We're live. I'm just going to take a second. We're just doing a cold open. It's just us. What's up? We were talking about magic because we're going to be playing magic tonight. Hi, welcome to the Isrid Games channel. My name is Jacob. Uh, Angel, why don't you tell these people what you're about? You monster. Hi, I am Angel. I have been playing magic for 22 years, and now I'm going to teach Jacob how to draft. What's drafting? Do, please, make believe that everybody in the chat doesn't know what magic is. Okay. Or is um, just knows that it's cardboard stuff. All right. So um, what you're used to is uh, constructed, which means you ahead of time collect your deck and decide what it's going to be and bring it to your opponent or your vent or whatever you're playing it in. And, uh, and, and you play with that. Um, as opposed to typical what we're going to do today, cards, right? 60 typical card 60 cards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what we're going to do today is start with nothing. Um, and Good, you, I, I have nothing. Yes. Uh, it's actually, it evens the playing field quite a bit because we were just discussing how I have so many more cards than you. Oh my God. In, in this environment, it doesn't matter what your collection is before you start the event. Uh, everyone starts at zero cards. Um, so you, you're Discord going not to... not cooperating. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm talking to myself. I'm going to... Uh, you're going to be uh, given three packs of cards. Uh, you will open them one at a time. And from each pack, you will choose one card. And then in the real world, you would pass that pack to the person to your left and they would choose a card. And so on all around the table, now you receive a pack from the person to your right and choose a card from that. So in the end, now so you do that three times. In the end, you will have 45 cards. Okay. Which then you will use to construct a deck, only those cards plus any basic lands. Okay. That is 40 cards total. Okay. About 17 of those cards will be basic land. Okay. Uh, so it's just chaos. No, it's, it's a very controlled environment, actually. No, I mean, your deck could end up being chaos. If you your deck you, just if you draft being... poorly, then yes, you have to you have to d kind of pick a lane. So okay, oh, no, you know what? Um, let's let's not get into the minutia because we're, sure. we're we're doing a cold open. I instead want to talk about how much of a monster you are, uh, because mm. as Angel just mentioned, uh, before that, um, uh, you know, we were talking just talking about the decks and talking about the 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 games that we did last time, which you can see on YouTube, YouTube dot com backslash is for games. Uh, if you want to see uh, this lady try to make what she said was a silly fun deck uh and that's like saying well i tried to bring a silly fun knife uh <laughs> and like just stuck googly eyes on the handle of like a kitchen knife that was notched and rusty um it's like oh see it's fun and silly it's still f fucking brutal uh and what something that i noticed and i was like you have so many more fucking cards than i do uh and I was like, I don't know if I saw a common in one of those decks. And she was like, no, I think I've got a common in there. And then, like, before we started, she this this wonderful, wonderful person, um, uh, uh, I went, like, to look at their deck and then was like, oh, the frog is common. Like, one. One card out of the whole friggin' brutal-ass deck that was just, that was the bug deck, right? It was just yeah. fucking vermin. Just mm -hmm. bugs, goddamn everywhere, and an old man, and a creepy old man. It was bugs and an old man, uh, <laughs> and a frog, um, and it was awful. And she was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Look, you got so many more cards than I do." And then, and that, like literally, just before I hit the button, I was like, "No, you know what? I have to talk about this." So we're just gonna do a cold open. Fuck it. She looks right into the camera and goes, "You know what? I honestly don't spend any money on this game. The fucking amount of cards that this lady has." is is like i don't i i can't fathom the 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 intensity of passion well no that i can but like the the just the 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 dedication 
to this game that you have to just like naturally earn cards because you know they give you wild cards and things like that so you can you know essentially buy specific cards and whatnot and it's not all yep. like random draw but like the fact that you're able to build such like laser focused custom shit just with the wild cards that you have and the numbers that you dropped last time of how many wild cards you have i just like i'm i'm i am i am beside myself what does that number <laughs> sit at today just just for people that may not have been here last time um if i have 343 uncommons Holy 30 fuck. 37 rares and 15 mythics remaining that i haven't used that you haven't used yeah <laughs> that's so many angel that's so many it's so many and for you to just be like you know i don't really like that means you just grind this fucking game out like you, you yeah grind... i you know what i do is um i recycle my um to hear this. i recycle my quests if they're things i don't want to do and i meaning select another quest yeah okay. like if it's like Play like these, 50 these, green spells. I'm like, get out of here. These things here. <laughs> these here. Uh, okay. I cannot see your screen. Might be a problem. Oh, you can't? Um, oh, that might be a problem, yeah. Yeah. Because we're trying everything purely through OBS today. We're trying something new technically. Um, I can not... watch the stream, but that will be on a delay. It will be on a delay. I actually don't know if there's a way to to do that to share my screen through obs um excuse me ghosts i'm haunted i think there is if there if you click on the create a secondary stream button if i did you want to tell me where that is uh it's in video ninja um it looks like a computer monitor icon share a screen with others holy shit Oh, but it's like a whole... Oh, no, no, no. Entire screen. Window. Hey. Hey. There we go. Hey. Did that work? Uh, yes. I can no longer see your face. Just... To... I don't have to. I'm just letting you know. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want to deprive you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Actually, is there something on your end where it can do both? That sucks. Um, I can. I don't see anything that does that. Huh. I can stop looking at my own face. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> like, I mean, believe, believe me, I understand. Like, I, I could stop looking at my own face a lot, but I, I don't. <laughs> I don't all the time. Uh, no, this will, this is fine. I'll just look at the, the screen. It's just the screen. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, because who cares about facial expressions? Yeah, especially when you're, you know, with a... With I can a, hear the sighing. That works. No, it's fine. No, it's okay. That's... that's... <laughs> As long as chat can see me, because you know when I'm not, uh, you know, actually performing or streaming, I stop existing. Um, yes, <laughs> Earthen One says facial expressions can be exclusive to chat. Um, actually, you know what? The fact that you can't see my face, uh, I think I might actually, I might, might have some fun with that. <laughs> um, okay. Where are all these buttons? God damn! I really need to familiarize myself with this shit. Yeah, I shared a screen, and it's just. All right, cool. Great. Good job. Anyway, uh cool. <clears throat> um Mythdom uh uh who's chatting for the first time, uh uh welcome to the chat space. Uh it says use the cards to emo to emote across the stream. <laughs> there are emotes in uh in arena too. Oh yeah, but they cost money. Yeah, mm. those things cost money. 
Yeah. Do they? Yeah. I don't know. I yeah, because you don't spend money on this. As as we've established, you psychopath. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, welcome to the Isward Games channel, everybody. Uh, uh, as uh, I said before, I'm Jacob, this is Angel. Um, uh, Angel's amazing. Has been a crafter for a long time. Did you actually, like, start... Did you tell people what you were about? Because it sounded like... And again, my attention was on writing the, the, the Discord thing. Did you actually get to tell people, like, what you were about and where to find you on the internet? Oh, no, I didn't well, do you that. you should definitely do that. I am AI Amethyst. You can find me on Twitter... Uh, and Twitch, I stream every Thursday evening, um, chill tunes and painting portraits of pets. I am on the upcoming Sin City by Night on Bard's Playhouse, this Vampire Masquerade. The first prologue is up. I am not in it, but it's still cool. You should go watch it. Yes, uh, and that's the fifth edition, right? Yes. Yep, Vampire the Masquerade, fifth edition. So fucking cool you're doing that. I have been a Desert Bus Crafter in the past. I will be applying this year. I don't know if I'll get in, but this pile of fabric behind me is going to be a quilt that might be in that. Um, I'm sorry. Did you just say I'm applying this year and I don't know if I'll get in? Have you yeah, seen the it's, shit you it's make? It's not guaranteed. I know. But have you seen the shit you make? <laughs> I, I've seen it a lot. Okay. Right. <laughs> I make it. It okay. takes the forever. Okay. I'm, I'm just, like, I, you know, I'm just... Uh, Sarah Sorrende says, look, we try not to take things for granted. Like, I get it. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, you shouldn't You shouldn't take things I'm going to make granted. it either way. Okay. Fine. If it, I can blackmail him. If you want. Don't, I can, don't do that. Uh, why? What's a little blackmail no. between friends? I'm, I would like to get in on my own merits. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're friends with me. That's a merit. <laughs> <laughs> I almost kept a straight face. Fuck. <laughs> uh. I almost did it. Damn it. Oh, I don't know what the fuck that sound I just made was, but there, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Preserved on the internet for all time. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you're, you're fantastic and you're a hell of a lot of fun. Um, so we are going to be doing some drafting and playing Magic tonight. I am Big Magic Baby. Uh, I Baby. Um, and I play this game casually and I'm, tr I'm trying to get back into it for fun. Uh, and so far nobody's ruined it for me. So don't be that person. <laughs> because I tried getting into this game. Now I'm not talking to you, Angel. I'm talking to I know. Chat. Okay. I know. It's still a lot of pressure. Um, on you? Oh, yeah. Why? You're teaching well, I don't, me a format. I don't, I don't want to ruin things. If I thought there was even a chance you were going to ruin things, I wouldn't <laughs> have been like, hey, Angel, do you want to come stream with me and teach me magic? <laughs> Believe in the me that believes in you. Uh, but anyway, chat, uh, don't be that, don't be the person that ruins this for me. Uh, we're here to have a good time. I don't care if I'm not making optimal choices. Uh, if you want to offer any advice, uh, don't or ask. Those are your two options. Um, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I, I have very, very little patience for, um, uh, pedantry, uh, and I really, really want to like this game, uh, uh again. <laughs> I really want to like this game again. Uh, and so far it's been going all right, uh, and I'm making goblins. So I'm going to learn a new format tonight because the only format that I understand, uh, is, uh, standard. Um, and alchemy, I guess? It's, it's standard adjacent. It's pretty close. Yeah, except it's all just the digital cards where they're just like, yeah, we're going to fix some because we're on a computer and we can, but because mm -hmm. once they're printed, all we can do is ban them. Yep. It, it, there's a limit, too. There's a limited ban or... Right? I don't know. I usually, when it pops up on Arena and they're like, you can't use these cards anymore. This is like a limited ban. Oh, this is a ban. Um, I just suspended oh, yeah they they use suspended for historic which is a temporary ban to see if the ban will be okay i don't think if, i've ever seen a, to see if the ban will be okay it's yeah because game it's well yes <laughs> to see what the ban would do to the format and okay. if it's he healthy or not. Okay. So, like, 
if there's a card that is, everyone is playing and it's super popular and winning all the time, um, if you take that card away, sometimes something else becomes a problem and it oh. doesn't really fix anything. I would imagine that the game balance for Historic, which if I remember correctly, is all the cards, every card forever, except for the banned ones, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, Keeping all game... the ones on Arena. Okay. Keeping game balance is probably really fucking hard. Yeah. Um, which is why one of the things they've done is the rebalancing of cards. Where okay. the instead of just outright banning a card, they'll change it. Okay. So it's either slightly worse or they've actually made some cards slightly better because they're like, we think people sh more people should be playing this card. Okay. Okay. I may. I may. Uh, because, again, last week, as, as I told you, I did a stupid, and I looked at the cards that were coming out. Um, mm -hmm. And Didn't apparently, kinda... apparently, the new set is, like, it's it's gangs and kind of based on the New York boroughs. Mm -hmm. I heard some people talking. Is that led, correct? Led by demons, yeah. Each family has a, a head demon. This fucking year was just magic going like Jacob you're going to get back into this <laughs> like every set is like fucking laser focused to just bust me in the taint just hit me where God stitched me to get me back into this fucking game Jesus. they're doing their job <laughs> elemental alchemist says Jacob please magic Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> like, yeah, because, like, snow shit. I, man, snow. And, 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 and again, at the end of the goddamn year, they're doing uh, Commander, which is uh, the 100 card decks. But you can only have one of each card unless it's a basic land, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have a Commander. I don't know how it works. Please don't explain it to me. I don't care right now. Okay. Uh, I'm here to learn draft. I can handle one fucking format at a time. And the second that I don't drip feed myself, I am lost and this company will go to hell, and we won't be able to publish games anymore, <laughs> and it'll be bad. Uh, and I won't be able to, like, do any more uh, uh, auditioning, or any voice acting, or directing, or any game writing, or anything else that I do, because everything will just be magic, so I gotta drip feed my fucking, out, my fucking self. Uh, but the fucking commander shit they're doing later this year is Warhammer 40k. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck, why the fuck would they do that? My resolve to only use canonical cards is eroding very quickly. Uh, unless some, unless it's just like, hey, we're going to use the magic system, but like you can play Warhammer 40k with it, like, and just do like Warhammer, a Warhammer deck against a Warhammer deck, like then I think I'd be okay. But mm -hmm. like, fuck, like, holy shit, I can't, I can't, because I've, I've, like, I, I've, I've, I gotten so fucking hard so hard into the Warhammer 40k lore, like, as of last month. <laughs> like, literally last month. Like, holy shit. Like, fuck. And, and, and it's gonna be really good art. Like, all the art is gonna be so fucking pretty. Mm -hmm. And Warhammer 40k is so fucking dark. Like, it is so... There is mm. no happiness there. I don't know how familiar you are with it. Um, I know that they sacrifice thousands of people to keep one guy alive, like, every day? Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, fuck. It's great. It's so good. And I found, right off the bat, I, I, do, not, I do not roll nat 20s very often, but I found the best, the best uh, lore uh, person uh, for all of this. They've got, they do hour and a half long videos on some subjects. And it's mm -hmm. just, like, this, like, generally chill British person that's really into the lore and not too opinionated, which is sometimes the best you can hope for. Because, let me... Sorry, I'm, I, gotta, I gotta go off on this because I just fucking remembered it because this is about magic. Uh, I'm sorry, are you, are you waiting for your turn to speak? Because I was just about nope. to go off. I apologize. Did you... Is I'm, I am just listening. Okay. Uh, okay. Fucking... It's some fucking bullshit... 
bullshit. I have been trying to find a goddamn podcast, YouTube, like anything decent to listen to magic lore that's not a white dude. I just, mm -hmm. and I, I thought that would be a pretty fucking small order because I'm a white dude. I'm full up on white dude lore. It's going in my head all the time. I I would like somebody's somebody else's perspective, but every channel that I found and and, uh, and apparently they're using three different microphones in the same fucking video. Anyway, that's my own audio head up my assness. Um, but Jesus Christ, I just want magic lore. I just want to learn about fucking uh uh uh. The fucking Dragon Borealis, the friggin' gem dude, uh, with the horns, who apparently- Nicobolus? There we go. I was okay. just, like, really like to have sex with Egyptian gods. Like, I- that guy. Uh, uh, yeah, I, like, I just want to le learn about the lore, and find out why the fuck shit changed from when I was playing Magic to now, because, like, some of the- the conceits have changed as well, like- uh, I I I read uh, I very foolishly and I will never do this the fuck again. Uh, was on a uh, I read a, an a, an opinion article that had mentioned that uh, or no I went to the wiki uh, and they'd mentioned that like you know because back when I played like you were a planeswalker and like you mm -hmm. went around to planes and you were just like hey that's a nice goat I'm gonna make a pact with this goat and then when I go to other planes I can I can call this goat to me whenever I want. If I have the right magic, like the right mana, to call it through the blind eternities, and now I have a goat, go fight that guy, goat. Because then when you meet another planeswalker every once in a while, like a planeswalker's like, hey, you're cool, hey, you're cool. And then uh, most of the time, they're just like, hey, I've got unimaginable power, do you too? Awesome. How about we fuck up all of the land around us and fight? Uh, and that was the whole fucking conceit to to the game, and now... I guess it's like people are making copies of these things. Like they're like, that's a good goat. I'm going to remember what that goat was like. And now I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to summon a copy of a goat. And that goat's going to go fight something. Like, I don't, I don't. I honestly do not know. I, I imagine I care a lot more about that than you do. <laughs> 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 I, I, no, like, you know, no, no, no shade. And fucking Dominaria, by the way, uh, back back when I played, this is the old man on the goddamn mountain. Um, uh, back when I played, uh, Dominaria wasn't just wasn't a plane; it was the multiverse. And then they yeah. they switched that lore. They, they, they were, definitely like, did that in Homelands. I think they were just like, oh yeah, Dominaria the plane. And I remember, like, as as a young lad, going. That's not right. But then again, I knew when Sailor Moon episodes were playing out of order when I was six. So, fucking who knows? No, I'm sorry. Uh, Pirates of Dark Water. Sailor Moon was when I was like twelve. Um, uh, but fuck, those are both great shows. Like, like, oh, I know, I know, Shivam. Uh, Terracotta. Uh, uh, yeah, Shiv Shivam and I are buddies. Uh, and but I don't think they have a podcast. If they do, Shivam has a podcast called Casual Magic, but it is not about lore. He just talks to his friends about magic. I think I'd be down with that. I fucking love that dude. I've got I've actually uh gotten to meet him uh uh through our mutual friends at Loading Ready Run. Um rad dude. Rad dude. Yeah. Uh yeah, anyway, I don't I'm I'm fucking trying to just get like why the fuck is everything fucked up and then like apparently something big changed and then like fucking Bolas was like, I don't like that things changed, I'm gonna try to shake it back and then a yeah. bunch of planeswalkers were like, fuck no. We that like was the, the way things are. The mending. I'm I'm trying to just I just want the fucking lore. I just want somebody who gives a shit about it to explain it to me or tell me a story. And I don't know anywhere online because I don't have time to read the novels. If I were younger, I would just read the fucking novels. I don't have time to do that anymore. I I just fuck f sorry. I just give it to me. Just I just want it. Somebody give it to me that isn't an opinionated lout. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. I tried to listen to some podcasts where people were explaining things and it was just like it was just like three friends like yelling at each other about how stupid it was and everybody yeah. had an opinion about the quality of it. And I'm like, no, just tell me. Just tell me. Just fucking please tell me a thing. Just tell me why 
and he's got like a brother called Unis or Un Un Unguint. I don't know. Ugin. Uh, thank you, Ugin. Um, yeah, I could tell you about Ugin. He's a spirit now. I don't know. I'm just trying to fucking. There's time travel involved. Oh fuck off! Really? Yeah. Okay. Is it consistent? Like, um, yeah, let me, let me, let me ask a better question. Let me ask a okay. better question. Does everything become about how clever they can make the time travel? Or is it a conceit to tell a good story? Um, I think they were going for story there. And they, the time travel was basically contained, like the, the ripple effect of the time travel was just on the one plane. So they didn't like mess up everything. Okay. What caused it? What caused the time travel? Yeah. Was it a spell? Oh. Was it a... Did something fuck up and, like, people were just like, I'm taking a poop in ancient Egypt now? No, I think they did it on purpose because Ugin was dead and they needed him back. It was, um, Sarkin did it. Like, the guy that made West Wing? I've never seen West Wing. Oh. Well, you said... Oh, you said Sarkin, not Sorkin. That's different. Sarkin is the name of Planeswalker. I assumed. I also okay. thought he was the guy that made West Wing. I don't know. Planeswalkers are powerful. He could have done both. I don't, I don't know. know. Time. <laughs> Acid beaver just goes time water. All right. Uh, that's. Yeah, that yeah. happened. That was a different thing. I'm sorry. There was more than one instance of time travel in. There was. Okay. Because they wanted some of the the legends from Dominaria to not be dead, even though it was like hundreds of years later. So they they just said, "Oh well." You accidentally drank some time water, so you're immortal. I'm sorry. We're going to need to take that shit back <laughs> a little bit. Who's they in this context? Is that like a meta they? Or is that like no, no. some person in the like plane was just like, I'm lonely. Where's my Uncle Bob? He was such a legend. Like, Oh, what is her name? No. I don't know. I'm asking you. Uh, well, let me see. I really think if I had the time, I would make, I would make a show. I would want to make a show of like people explain magic lore to me. <laughs> <laughs> Joyra. Yes. Thank you, Chet. Joyra. Okay. Yeah. D does, yeah. does this spark Joyra? As, yeah. I, is, is this a good story? No, it's not. Okay. We should just play magic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, let's draft something. Uh... All right. Okay, so tell the me first what thing, to do. The first thing you need to know is how to get to the draft. We're going to do what's called oh, I'm a sorry, quick... I have to check the store first. <laughs> I can't. It works on me uh, because I have... Yeah. I have, I have I, oh, yeah. You have to get rid of the orange dot. I have to get rid of the orange dot. I, I also, they, they give away money they sometimes do? yeah sometimes well, I don't the, need to... sometimes the deal of the day is like give us 500 gold and we'll give you a thousand gold what what does soft glow mean in what context i don't know you can see my screen it says soft glow saga style soft glow conflict styles oh that's the neon stuff like it it doesn't look it, like it's glow. It glows. The the left side, the where it's like bright yellow around the name. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's like actually neon around the name and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. What else you got? It's just the alternate um, card I'm styles. Saving, I'm saving up for these. I'm saving up my gold for these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play enough, but... 
I'm saving up my gold for these. I'm trying not to buy this one. <laughs> the Wanderer? Yeah. Fucking badass. What a fucking badass. All right, what's going on? It's, she's a lot cheaper than the Lance. <laughs> yeah, but you know how I feel about Lance. Mm-hmm. I, I love them. If I could make an all-land deck, I would. There are some formats you can do that in. Shut the front door. Don't. You know what? Let's not. <laughs> we don't need to. Jacob doesn't need to know about legacy. <laughs> no. What the fuck? Kaldheim, you're so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I have that one. I play her in my gladiator deck. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't remember the, the I don't remember the, the, the fanciness, but I do I remember the card because you fucking just want me with it. Professor Onyx, who the fuck are you? Holy shit, is this no lady? Yes, it is. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, um, Strixhaven was like Magic Hogwarts. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Awesome. Or college. It was it was Magic University. Fuck yeah, nope lady. <laughs> awesome. Uh, in case you're wondering why I call her nope lady, uh, there was a convention, I forget what it was, like a couple of years back. A uh, PAX. Uh, yeah, it was a PAX or something, and I got like a big stack of, I don't know how, I don't know how, uh, but somebody gave me a big stack of magic cards like magic packs and i was just like fuck it i haven't looked at magic cards in so long so i did a big ass twitter thread of just like i'm gonna open magic cards now who the fuck is this i don't know who this is this is nope lady because it was it looked like uh like she had chanced upon a bunch of people beating the fuck out of an angel in a graveyard and just turned around and was just like i'm out um so i've called her nope lady ever since uh oh hell yeah fuck yeah oh is this a full art card I've heard that term. Um, these are the borderless planeswalkers. Borderless planeswalkers, okay. There's a bunch of different card styles for collectors, aren't there? Oh, yeah. fuck, look at that human's got a pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> fuck, yeah. I want to make a Halloween deck. Um, oh, that's a lot easier now with I, uh, the wearable set. Lots of pumpkin and Halloween stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, I think... Yeah, I would. I would like to make. I. I think. Uh, I think once I learn how to make a commander deck, that'll be a good time. Because somebody showed me like there's a scarecrow legendary. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm getting wickedly distracted. You can absolutely <laughs> redirect me to Jacob. Let's actually play the fucking game. <laughs> All right. Attack of thirty creatures. I can do that. Black and blue. Give me red. Nope. Okay. Great. So, looks like I'll draft a white and black deck. <laughs> cool. Don't use their quest to decide what to draft. That's bad. Uh, yeah. No, I, I'm full of bad habits. This is or do it. Time. Or do uh, it. Uh, look, you can't... You're supposed to be teaching me. You can't be like, yeah, don't do that. It's bad. Or do. I don't give a fuck. Like, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Sorry. I could tell you that going into the draft with a, a preconceived notion of what you want to play is not optimal. Okay. You can do it. So go you in can the have fun do it. You may even win doing it. But it is not the optimal strategy. Okay. Are we going for optimal strategy? That is up to you. Why? You're teaching because me. I'm you're gonna the player. Make, I'm going to meet okay. you where you live. I am baby. All right. I will meet you where you live. Click on the play button. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we are going to do a quick draft. Quick draft Neon Dynasty is what you want to click on here. Traditional draft standard. It's got the Wanderer on it. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah. So. Quick drift eye. To explain what a quick draft is. Okay. Um... There are no other humans doing anything in this. This is all you and computers. Okay. So the other people at the table are robots. Okay. Um, so what QuickCraft does is it makes sure that you have 
as much time as you need to make all your decisions. No one else is waiting on you. There's no pressure. You can actually even stop in the middle if you if you want to pick it up later. Um, so it is good for when you have time crunch or this because I don't want to freak you out with a timer ticking down, making sure that you. Uh... <laughs> oh, that won't that won't freak me out. Okay. No, that won't freak me out. I'll just yell and be like, ah, ah, ah! And that's fine. That's not freaking out, right? That. That seems normal. All right. Well, okay. we're not right. gonna. We're gonna start with no timers okay. and no other humans. Also, these games, when you play them against other people that have done the same thing against other robots, okay. are best of one. So there will be no sideboarding decisions to make. Okay, because I don't know shit about the sideboard. That's good. Great. I put a mountain in. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I, I posted the deck list. I had a mountain in my sideboard. I don't know what the fuck sideboarding is. That's fine. You don't need to know that yet. It's where you put your mountains, Angel. Let me. I'll tell you. <laughs> That's where you put your mountains. Or just one to let it know who's boss. All right. So it looks like you cannot use your draft token for a quick draft. Um. So you're going to have to choose to either use your gems or your gold for this. Well, it's going to be gems because I'm saving up for those lands. Okay. Yeah, fine. Fuck it. I got uh, I got Google Play money. All okay, right, don't click on anything yet. I'm not touching a goddamn thing. <laughs> okay. I need to make the screen bigger so I can actually see what cards you have what? here. I'm just going to hover over this shit because I don't know. Yes. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun because I know pe some people have like almost encyclopedic knowledge of like what the fuck cards are. Yeah. And I enjoy the discovery, so I haven't looked at any of the cards in <laughs> anything. Because I like the discovery of like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is new? What's this? Neat. Look at that art. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> yeah, right. it's a goblin. Fuck yeah. It is. You can you can play goblins in this if you want. So uh, this is your first pack. Yeah, okay. uh, you have you have it has automatically opened your pack. Um, okay. Next to your avatar at the top, it'll say pack one, pick one. So, oh, okay, you're in, yeah. Up the you're in your there. first pack, yep, yep. and you're choosing your first card. Okay, swamp. So, in general, you're probably going to end up playing two colors. Okay. Um, what those colors might be depends on your decisions that you make and what cards you take. Is that a fucking Ninja Turtle? Um, yes, and you saw that last time. Well, I have ADHD, Angel, so... I have the... Whatever is the opposite of that, and I remember specifically that you opened the Capitec record. I do. I remember back. that. Yes, yes. And usually, <laughs> when people remind me, it, it, it's... Uh, um, uh, I, I remember. But it's, uh, it's a weird... Uh, one of the, it's the weird thing... The weird thing with the memory is that uh, uh, one of the things that ADHD brains are... I have trouble with is putting tags on memories mm. for a specific recall. It's not that we don't remember stuff. It's that we don't know how to pull up the memory. It's usually a lot of times somebody else has to remind us of that thing. And then I, then the memory pops up. So when you reminded me, like you saw that last time, I was like, did I? Cause I remember the stream that we did last time. And that moment's in that stream instead mm -hmm. of being able to recall that specific memory because of the tag. Yeah. A little, ADHD trivia for you. If you didn't already actually know that, I don't know what your experience with the the condition is. All right, I so, did not know that. No. Uh, I do a fucking lot of reading about it because I don't want to let it stop me have a good life. Um, virus beetle. Fucking hell. Yeah. So the these cards are arranged by rarity. Um, the one on the top left is your rare from your pack. And then it goes to your uncommons and then your commons. Um, okay. So what you're going to want to do is pick a card that um, you think is the most impactful if you were to play it in a game of magic. And I have to read all this shit. Mm. Exile target creature card from a graveyard. When you do, create a spirit token. Hell yeah, cool. Uh, 
Oh, fuck. Neat. So it's like, eat your graveyard, make things better. That's cool, except it's a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it starts off small, but it can it, it can, can grow pretty there. fast. Yeah. yeah. It's not, like, sometimes you open the pack and the rare is like, big dragon. And you're like, well, obviously I'm taking I'm that. I'm going big dragon, yeah. Um, this rare is not so splashy and not so strong that um, there's other cards that uh, <laughs> you could take over it. Um, I'm sorry, is there something exciting about the Ray to a Sentinel? I... Back in the day, uh, and keep in mind, like, this is like Alpha Beta Unlimited time. Yeah. Um, I played uh, Blue all the time. Uh, <laughs> I had four millstones in my deck. And like, for uh, Yeah. Um, you know, back when the turn order was different. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah. No, you can't. No, in this, in this, in this, in this bullshit, you can cast a creature after combat. Ha! Nonsense. Uphill both ways in the snow. <laughs> There's only one main phase, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. That's all I can remember. There was, yeah, there, there was, yeah, there was only one main phase essentially. Uh, you could put cre you could cast creatures, and then you could attack. And there wasn't like any hoot nanny of uh, uh, like, haha! I've attacked with all my creatures. You've wiped out all my creatures. Boo hoo! But look at this big pile of mana I got. Now I'm gonna put out another creature. What are you gonna do? There was none of that. <laughs> it was just you just had to fucking commit, and that was it. Um, I am trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to to not just play what I think is cool. I'm trying to think tactically here. Okay. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> I really well, like so card. I can tell you. <laughs> well, so the mill on this card is not repeatable. It only happens once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so but the, the likelihood of me only get it of me in a draft deck. Let me see. May, may I work this through if you don't mind? <clears throat> Sure. The likelihood of me having more than one of these and being able to build a mill deck or something around this ability is low, I would imagine. Is that In this set, yes. I think there's only two cards, and they're both uncommons, that cause your opponent to mill cards. Did you say in this set? Yes. I I don't I don't wanna try to if it's cool with you, I don't wanna try to meta think it in that way because I don't have that knowledge. Um, and that's not generally how I play. Uh, yeah, it's just when you're doing a draft, the things that you can open are limited to the things that are in the set. But Oh, yeah, um, yeah I get that. But I don't have if, knowledge of the whole set, yep. so I can't metagame it in that way. Um, this is just from where kind of like where I'm at. You know, just like yeah. So open. just just with the information in front of you. Just with the information in front of me. None I, I of these other cards card. mill. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is a good card to try to build a deck around. Um, this looks cool. Mm-hmm. That one is pretty cool. This one looks good. Uh, the rest of these are common. Um, because you're I, I. How much are you trying to keep cards out of your opponent's hands, though? Like, what's what's. I mean, it's better to do something to get something that you think will be good, mm -hmm. but do you also try to take cards to like keep them away from the other players who are picking cards? Oh, uh, so you're talking about um, hate drafting is the term for that, where you take a card specifically just so your opponents can't have it, even though you have no intention of playing it yourself. Um, is that bad? in? In this environment that we're doing is a quick draft. All the other players are robots who will never actually play their decks, so it does not matter. Okay. You should only be concerned about taking the cards that make the best deck for you. Right. But, like, is is my idea, hate drafting, as you said, mm -hmm. just generally bad? I'm baby. Help me build good yeah, habits. Yeah, it is... It is generally not useful to hate draft. Um, and there are a couple of reasons for that. Okay. Um, one is 
there are seven other players at the table. Okay. Even if it's a really strong card, the likelihood that you will actually have to play against it is very low. Ah, okay. Got it. Because you have to be... In... Yeah, you won't play against every other person. Okay. And if it's a really strong card, that means usually the next or the person after that will take it. And the way that uh, pairings work in draft is that you in per, in in an in person draft ultimately you play, it's not a good way of thinking, right? Yes, you okay. play against the person that's furthest away from you, so you have the least influence on their cards. Um, and also, I, just in an arena draft, when you are playing, you're not playing against other people that were in, or not necessarily playing against other people that were in your same pool. Okay. I think this would be the most effective card, either Tempered in Solitude or Teachings of the uh, Kirin. Okay, so if it, if you think it's close, there's a couple tiebreakers. Um, if there's a color that you prefer playing in, or a style of deck that you would prefer. So like Tempered in Solitude is kind of a deck that wants you to attack. Yep. I mean, and... it's red, so it's going to be very aggressive, right? Yeah, and okay. then Teachings of the Kirin is more kind of a slow build up my things until they're huge and then do something with it. Hmm. You can also look at, um, you will get this pack back after mm -hmm. seven other cards are taken away from it. So you can start looking at, okay, what do I think is going to come back to me the next time I get to see this pack? If, if for example, there's only one red card here, you can take the red card. You know you won't get another red card back from it, so you're going to have to be t cho choosing another color. But you also know that nobody that you're passing the pack to will get any red cards. Okay. So when the other people are making their decisions and influencing what you get back, and you can influence what they take by what you leave. Mm, okay, neat. So, like, in this example, if there's two cards here you're thinking of, you're a red one and a green one. Mm -hmm. If you take the green one, um, can you move so I can see what else is in the pack? Like, yeah, there we go. If you take the green one, there's another really strong green card here, which is the Kappa Tech Wrecker. So, <clears throat> somebody else is probably going to take that before you get it back. You won't get that out of this pack. And the next strongest green card is a c common that is not all that useful. So you will most likely not get another playable green card out of this pack. Okay. I think I'm going to take the Tempered in Solitude. Because okay. uh, when a creature you control attacks alone, exile the top card, you said think in terms of two colors... So mm -hmm. I've got, like, there's, so I'm looking at the other red cards here, which are pretty cool. Uh, I like them a lot. Uh, I'm probably going to throw that in my goblin deck. Um, so we got a samurai here that uh, whenever a samurai or warrior attacks alone, you get a plus one, plus one until end of turn. Here's an enchantment that helps to also do stuff. Mm-hmm. Like yep. there's a there's so another you, saga here. So you I have think this just is good. recognized an archetype. Yay! What does <laughs> that mean? Um, so that means that uh, the designers of the set have seeded in these things that work together well. Okay. Um, so in this set, uh, the color pair red and white is samurais and warriors, and they like to make one creature big and attack by itself. Oh, fucking like Musashi. That's so good! What good design for a Japanese <laughs> themed set! Fuck yeah! Oh, that's good! Oh! Mmm! Mmm! That's the stuff! Mmm, I felt. I felt my brain release the good stuff. That's so good! Alright. So then Fuck you yeah. want to take All Tempered right. in Solitude? Yeah, I am. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Now. Just because we've taken this card doesn't necessarily mean that this card is going to end up in your deck. 
Remember, we're going to take 45 cards and we're only going to play about 23 of them. Flexibility. Flexibility yep. of thought. That is very good. Paper, paper craft decoy. Oh, look, it's a frog. You like frogs, <laughs> don't you, Angel? Frog. Not, not paper ones. They're not slimy. <laughs> Fucking hate Kermit. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, okay, Vanishing Slash. Oh, that's, that seems good, like a good card. Mm -hmm. Hotshot Mechanic. Fuck yeah, awesome. Great art, too. Shit. Yeah, it's another one. Fuck, of course, when I said, like, oh, the likelihood of another one coming up is low. <laughs> In the next pack, there it is. Uh, lucky offering. Destroy target artifact. I mean, that seems pretty good. Uh, chat is uh, remarking on your audio levels. I just turned it up. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah, you already took care of it. How's that? I you already sounded fine to me, so I cannot answer your question. There we go. No, it was. Uh, I uh, had hit the microphone. The microphone has the gain on the uh, on the actual microphone here, uh, so I think I, maybe I breathed on it too hard. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Undercity Scrounger, look at that shit! Oh, you got a mechanical arm and an eyeball in it and treasure. That's really great. Oh, that's the. There we go. Useful for multicolored decks, you said. Unstoppable Ogre? Oh, you got a fucking gun arm? That's great. Is that what's going on in that picture? <laughs> I don't know. That's. It looks like he's hitting something with a gun arm. Maybe it's a gauntlet. I don't know. See? Gun arm. Look at that goblin with yeah. a gun arm. Fuck yeah. Okay. Unstoppable Ogre. I mean, that's pretty cool. All right. Um... I mean, Lucky Offering seems pretty good. This also seems really good. Yeah. Destroy an artifact, enchantment, or tapped creature. It's very flexible. Yeah. And also is only two mana. And it makes uh, a 2-2 two -two creature. If it could. I have an enchantment or an artifact. No, we have to have an enchantment and an artifact. Oh, and an artifact. Okay. Yeah. Well, still, it's, it's a very flexible card for two mana. It seems pretty good. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for you to tell me that is a good pick and I should pick it. <laughs> that is a very good pick, Jacob. All right, great. Good job. Thank you. I need confirmation. <laughs> like, you're like, mm hmm. Ah, special land. Please be good. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I'd be good in the Black Booth Zombie deck. Mm. 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 That'd be good in a black blue zombie deck. That's really pretty. Yeah. It doesn't really go with the first two cards we've taken, which isn't no. necessarily a no, knock it against it. But, I but think, also... I think you, could, you could throw this in in place of just regular land just to have it. You know, just yeah. Like little... You can put it in your deck. So you also have to weigh it, though, against the other cards that you're not taking because you would be taking this card. Yeah, no, I get it. Like, taking lands in draft is actually not a bad strategy because it allows you to play more of the cards that you've picked than the your opponents, if that makes sense. Wait, one more time? Uh, drafting lands is not a bad thing to do. Um, because ultimately you end up with more cards from the draft in your deck than your opponents have. So like if I pick all creatures and I put my deck together, I have to cut 17 of these creatures and put in lands. Okay. But if you've taken, you know, 20 creatures and five lands, you get to play all of those five lands. And so you've gotten more value out of your draft. However... 
In this case, I don't think choosing a land from this pack is the correct choice because there are other better cards. I would agree. That, huh, okay, all right. Bolted Surge, sacrifice an artifact, two damage, that's good. Or if you sacrifice an artifact, it's four damage. Ah, that's mm -hmm. not bad. Let's look at the way. And target creature or vehicle, return target. Oh, that seems really great for kind of what we're trying to go for. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is kind of a turning point where there's really not any good white cards here. And the red card is is okay. But this black card is quite good. Okay. So um, there are things you can do. So you can you can take it as a speculation and say, well, if I get other good black cards, maybe I'll think about it. Okay. You can ignore it and say, you know what? I see I see that there's a good black card here, but I'm gonna stick to my guns, and and choose a red card. Um. Or you can just say, I see that there's a very good black card here, and I'm going to change directions hard and go into black. black. And, then, okay. and then you can say, well, I'm either going to play black white or black red. And you don't have to make that decision now, but as you're doing future picks, you want to keep an eye out about which color is more available. It is called open if the color is open, which means other people at the table are not taking those colors. There's also quite a lot of good green cards here. Master's Rebuke is very good, um, and the other ones are, are okay. But there's a, a large quantity of green cards, which is also suspicious. So what are your thoughts? I don't know. It's a lot of options. It is a lot of options. Draft is a lot of options. <laughs> uh, I mean, that is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And creepy as fuck. Um, at the beginning of your end step, you may pay one mana. When you do, destroy target creature with toughness X or less, where X is the number of shrines you control. That's just... That's just gross. Mm hmm. Uh. Fuck, it's a mech. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of those. Shit. Um. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know, actually. What would you do? Um. I have a tendency to take the green card in this situation. Okay. Uh. There, uh, the the shrine is strong. It's stronger if you have other shrines to go with it, and of we course. haven't seen, seen any, any of yet. those yet. Doesn't mean we won't. So what I'm hearing is just take rugged highlands and. Uh, no, I would take the master's oh, rebuke yeah. actually. Um, although, Voltage. yeah, Volted Surge isn't a terrible card to pick. I'm just worried that because there are no other red cards here. In this Okay. All right. Well, let's, um, yeah, let's go for it. Why not? All right. All right. Destroy. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. Put two lore counters on target saga you control. Ooh. I, I do like sagas. Fuck yeah. Look at you, you creepy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, one thing that to remember about Master's Rebuke, the card we just took, is it works best if you have big creatures. Big creatures, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Combi of Industry enters the battlefield, return target artifact. Uh, nah, no. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's cool. Mm, yeah. That's just a. Uh, what the fuck was it? Prodigal Sorcerer. 
Yeah, Prodigal Sorcerer. I remember that. The the blue card <laughs> that you could just tap and it just did one damage to people. Well, you what have to sacrifice this. Well, yeah, no, I get so it. it only does it once, yeah. I get it. When Dramatis Puppet ends the battlefield for each kind of counter on target permanent, put another counter of that kind on it or remove one from it. Neat. Oh, that's cool. Harmonious Emergence. Enchant land. Hell yeah. Oh, that's cool. That seems neat. Mm-hmm. That seems really neat. Oh, that seems really good. Geothermal Kami enters the battlefield. You may turn enchantment. You control those arms. That's cool. Fade into antiquity. <laughs> Somebody just fucked up this banner. <laughs> uh, exile target enchantment artifacts. Okay. Kami of industry. And it's not so great, I think. Or that's not what I'm going to need for. Moonfolk Samurai, modified creatures you control can attack as though they didn't have a defender. Ooh, neat. Cool. Befriending the Moths. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one. It gains flying until end of turn. Exile the Saga, then return to the battlefield transformed, and it's a Moth. That's nice. Um, I don't know. I might I might, I might, might be doing... I, I might be steering hard into, uh, into green and... Uh, Green white. All right. What do you think? That's fine color combination. Yeah, because look at all these green cards. Mm hmm. Shit. I, th I think doing green is the correct, or the, no, I'm sorry. It is, uh, it, it is, what's the word? Steering into green is good. Green seems open. Green seems is open. What, okay. That's what I would say. Okay. I mean, Story Weave seems nice. I don't have yeah, we don't. Yet. Yeah, we don't have any sagas yet either. I think you should go with Befriending the moths here, because oh, yeah, like, yeah. we have, yeah. um, we have no creatures yet. Okay. Uh, so you just want to yeah. keep an eye on that. Um, at the end of this, you want to end up with somewhere around fifteen creatures in your deck. Yo, that looks really good. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck! I want the that jacket. Fuck. The biker oh, rats. Fuck. Hell yeah, biker rats. Tamiyo's compilation. Oh shit, I read about this. That's mm -hmm. sad and fucked up. Mm -hmm. uh, commune with the spirits. I don't have any creatures. Please give me a creature. Hey, you're a creature. That's a lot of fucking mana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Imperial Subduer. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty good, but that doesn't really work with green, though. Oh, there's Samurais in green. I mean, I haven't seen any. Um, yeah, it also I mean, just works on itself. Yeah. Oh, that's true. And I need a fucking... I need some creatures. Oh, it just keeps popping up. Oh, 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 Towel's moving castle with a gun. Uh, <laughs> dragonfly suit. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's rad as shit. Crew one. Tap any number of creatures you control with total power one or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature until the end of turn. Hey, hey, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. All right, unstoppable ogre, swamp. Okay. Um... Does this count as a creature? I need more. Counts as about a half a creature. Half a creature, okay. Um, but it also works with your banning, banishing slash because it it counts as an artifact for yeah. It's it's enchantment plus artifact requirement to get the uh, samurai. I'm gonna do it. I want a mech suit. I want a mech suit. Fucking yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Ah, there's better cards than that, I think. Sorry, I think my think goblins. there are. Yes. Yeah, like even even befriend the goblins, which I have. It's like make two goblins or do the thing that this card does. Pick one. Uh 
Are you fucking with me? Holy shit. A 3-3... Three, three, I mean, I know it has Defender, but a 3-3 three, three creature with Reach for two... That's a wall, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want this. I'm taking that. I, I love you, Tawashi Guidebot. If you come up again, I'll pick you up, but... Wait, let's look at this one first. Ooh. Ooh. So, the the Bamboo Grove Archer is an enchantment, Yeah, and that which matters, so matters for with your Banishing Slash. It also has higher power, which works better with your Master's Rebuke. And the way that you're putting things together so far, it uh, looks like you're going to be a little bit more of a defensive deck. And then, like, you'll build up one big thing and start attacking with it. I'm good with that. Awesome. Alright, cool. Whenever a vehicle you control attacks, choose one. That vehicle gains first strike until end of turn, or untap Kitsune Ace. I mean, that this works with the mech mm -hmm. that I got. That seems expensive. Uh, it is expensive, but it's also flexible because you don't have to play it. You can just channel it to yeah. find a planes. Yep. And then and um, get to life. Yeah, I think if you want to go more into the mechs, I would pick the ace. Yeah. Uh, but it, yeah, you just have the one right now. But the Ace also gives you another creature at two mana. The Samurai works with a Subduer and is higher power for your Master's Rebuke and is also an enchantment. It's. I think I would lean towards the Samurai here. The Sunblade Samurai? Yeah. Because it's an enchantment? Okay. Alright. So here, there are no green or white cards you can look at taking the artifacts um you can also look at um maybe taking a red card if something happens later on that we want to steer back into red or you can just take a card and uh that makes you happy i like committing <laughs> so i'm gonna do that all right And boy, do I like things that can make other things. Um, I'm not going to stop you from taking it. If you want to. I can't see the face that you're making uh, right no, now. <laughs> oh, shit. It popped up again. It wants me to take it. Um, You're allowed to take it. <laughs> papercraft decoy. Yeah, it counts as an artifact for banishing slash. Yeah. But so does the Reto Sentinel. Yeah, but it can't attack. I've already got. It. How many walls do I need, really? <laughs> I uh, don't know. Lucky offering. Destroy target mm. artifact with mana value three or less. Gain three life. I. That's very nice. Uh, I think I have to go with the Era of the Ancient Fang. Mm-hmm. Great. Do we fade into Antiquity? Uh, yeah. It's actually quite a good card. Great. There are lots of artifacts and enchantments in this set, as you could see. Commune with the spirits. Look at the top four cards of your library. Reveal an enchantment or land card from among them. Put it in your hand. Great. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, yep. I mean, so y you can just just take the disruption protocol. Right. You don't. You're not going to be playing it. Uh, you can uh, drag any of the cards that you don't want to look at anymore, 
over to the sideboard. Side yeah. Can you say? You know, you have to like up oh, to the yeah, name. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Pack two. Pick one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be taking that. Yeah, Blossom Prancer. Oh, this is... oh no. Okay. Fuck yeah! Look at you. God damn, that's a lot of text. Uh, when Blossom Prancer enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of the library. You may reveal a creature or enchantment card from among them. Put them into your hand. Put the rest in your bottom library in a random order. If you didn't put a card into your hand this way, you gain four life. Shit, all right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Web spinner cuff. In equipment, spider, reach. Equip creature gets plus one, plus four, and has reach. That's a big reconfigure cost, though. It is. Look at the fucking... The, it <laughs> listens to me. This fucking game. It knew. It fucking knew. It knew. I could have had four of these. <laughs> <laughs> it's only three. Hmm? Oh no, another one's gonna pop up. I, <laughs> I, I almost guarantee it. Uh, what the fuck? Whenever a samurai warrior you control attacks alone, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, we saw one of those, and it didn't come back to us in in the first pack. Someone else took it. Mm. You want? You like? You like bags? Uh, um. <laughs> let's see, favor what you call. Enchant artifact or creature. As long as enchanted permanence creature gets plus three, plus three, and has reach. I mean. Oh, that's sexy. <laughs> I like sagas. I, I like cards that you just like throw them down and they're just like. Okay, I'm just gonna do random shit now. <laughs> uh, hey, Sword Planeswalker dropped in uh, and just threw down five uh, gift subs. Thank you very much. Uh, to Geldarin, Naval Warfare, uh, Nate Deska, or Nate Deska, uh, Kanahedo, and Random Trivia. Thank you very, very much. That's very cool of you. Um, I I'm looking for some help here, Angel. Okay, um, I think that you need the Blossom Prancer. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Return target field card to the battlefield against haste. Return to its owner's. What the fuck? That's so cool. That's really cool. That's nice. All right, there's a lot of bullshit in there. Oh, I like that a lot, too. Oh, that's hot. Hmm. But we're steering away from red, so. Uh, spinning wheel kick? Hell yeah! Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each of X target creatures and or planeswalkers. Yo! I mean, we gotta take that, right? Uh, it, it's pretty good if you have a creature with death touch or a creature with high power. It's quite expensive, um, but I don't think there's anything else in this pack that's really better for us. I haven't seen all the cards yet. Well, that one's okay. I mean, that's not bad. I think spinning wheel kick is definitely better than that artifact, though. Yeah, I would say spinning wheel kick here. Yeah, or you could just throw away all of the green cars that you've taken and take Grease Fang. <laughs> and then just start taking black cards willy-nilly? Yeah, I mean, it's early enough that that you can do that. Um, but I would say any... If you do that, you should be prepared to 
only take black and white cards forever and ever for the rest of this draft. I was already prepared to take green and red or green and white cards for the rest of this draft. Yeah. Well, uh, as Nate Deska is saying, Angel. <laughs> could just splash black and go abs on. You could do that, but grease paint doesn't really work unless you have the vehicles to go with it. We only have one. Three right. colors is possible. Um, I'm going with spinning wheel kick. No, I, I'm right. keeping things simple for myself. Oh, fuck yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah. Look at you. What the fuck do you do? Whenever an aura enters the battlefield under your control, if you cast it, you may search your library for an aura card and then a value less than or equal to that aura. And with a different name than each aura you control, put that card into the battlefield, detach the light, pause Emperor's voice, then shuffle. I don't think we have any auras. Yep. I don't think we do either. That's fucking cool as shit. Hmm. Oh. That's lovely. Um. Yeah? Or more vehicle? Uh, I like Wanderer's Intervention here. Yeah. It's the it's seeing that Twisted Embrace is making me sad, but... I think it's it's that you're going to see a lot of good black cars going by. And you just have to have resolve to not take them. I think that'll be a lot easier for me than it would be for you. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Mipdom asks, thoughts on the Tanuki? Uh, I like the Tanuki. I don't think it's better than Wanderer's Intervention. And I think that we will have a chance to pick up a Tanuki later if we want one. Are you fucking kidding me? A card called You're Already Dead? Yes. Yes. Yes, this set. <laughs> Fuck yeah, this set. Fucking shit, that's awesome. Way to go. Um, bronze Cudgels, that definitely looks like a pair of sex toys. Come on. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> I... They definitely look like sticks ready-made to bang on somebody's drum. Yeah. <laughs> I say more for friending the mods. Um, I think you need to keep reading some of the cards. Uh, I think I would actually take Fang of the Sh uh, Shigeki here. Okay. Um, especially with creatures with Death Touch go well with both Master's Rebuke and Spinning Wheel Kick. Okay. Wait, does Spinning Wheel Kick actually apply Death Touch to everybody? It does. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, because it says target creature deals damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 very cool. Hello. And there's the other mill card. Uh, the shrine, all the way to the left. That is rad! Oh, it makes me want to make a shrine deck. I don't know if that's actually viable, but that's cool. That's... Man, what... That art is fucking tight. <laughs> Look at that shit. That is creepy as fuck, and I love everything about it. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I love that so much. Oh, I want that on my wall. I want it on my wall. Oh, Bjohan Voss probably sells prints of it. it. Seeks those driven by curiosity and offers enlightenment. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so it feels like our choices here are moths, more dragonfly suit, or a papercraft decoy. Uh, I think I would actually take the Bearer of Memory here. Um, you can click on your deck box, and it will show you the stats of the cards that you've taken so far. So we have seven creatures, which is okay. means we should be taking more taking creatures. More creatures. You, well, but al 13. yeah, but also um, fifteen. Um, but also, a lot of our creatures are enchantment creatures, so she 
works with most of the, what we have. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, look at you, motherfucker. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. No, don't look at things you don't need. You're, I love this baby. Oh, I love <laughs> you so much. Oh. Uh, I love you. Wait, is this love at first sight, or have you seen this before? Oh, I saw this before. Somebody, somebody, okay. when, when previews were coming out, somebody sent it to me, and it was just like, I love you. I love you so much. Because <laughs> look at the fucking, the flavor text is the goddamn best. <laughs> Greetings, fellow inventors, the Aki shouted attempt. I'm sorry, excuse me. No, I, I... Greetings, fellow adventurers. The Aki <laughs> shouted, attempting a friendly smile. To her dismay, the greeting was met only with shrieks and alarms being activated. This, I, this card is everything about my energy. I love this card so much. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Fuck, run. Like, ugh. So, I'm friendly. One, one other neat thing about draft is when this is done, you keep all of these cards. Oh, neat. Oh, that's very cool. That's so, very cool. you know, if there's nothing you want for your deck, <laughs> if there's something you want for your collection, oh, I no, I just I, take I, it. I appreciate that. No, I'll use if I ever if I make a deck that's gonna feature the enthusiastic mechan like mechanic. Uh, I'm sorry, mechanos. Uh, I'm I'll just I'll just I'll just pay for it. Because uh, I was thinking <laughs> I was I was trying to think of a way to make a. Uh, a red blue goblin artifact deck. I was trying. Yeah. To, I was trying to tease that out, but that's not that's not what we're doing here. Uh, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Look at look at your shell. I love you. Mm, you look so tough. Um, and fucking dual wielding a katana and a hammer. Like what the fuck? Just what a badass. That are also on fire. Oh, he's got the the Nicol Bolas stupid thing in his in his head. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. He thinks he's a tiny dragon. <laughs> it's so cute. God, I love goblins so much. Um, what the fuck are we doing? Uh, so there's only one green card and one white card. Yeah. They're both fine. This one. I did it. Regent's Authority. Ooh. That's pretty good. I love you. What are you? <laughs> it's a little robot. It's a little robot that puts a counter on somebody when he dies. Oh, well, these are going in the goblin deck that I was thinking of making. Like, fuck. Oh, look at that shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, you beautiful little fuck. Uh... It's a DJ. <laughs> yeah. They put a fucking DJ in this set. Sorry, we're not actually going to play a game tonight. Uh, fuck, this is awesome. Uh, I think we should probably go with this one because we have a lot of enchantment creatures. Uh, yeah, there's also Tamio's safekeeping, which is quite good. Tamio's safekeeping is more defensive. And um, the other one is more offensive. We need more creatures, though. We do need more creatures. I love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yep, Big Mac. Do we want? Do we want Big Mac? Uh, I think I would, I would probably take the little mech here. You want this guy? Uh, <laughs> you want this guy? No. Okay. No, we don't. But do we want this guy? You may want that guy if you would like to take him. That's fine. That sounds like the kind of fine that's not actually fine, though. It sounds like that flavor of fun. Nope. <laughs> Here we go. Look it. <laughs> he's still there. <laughs> Nobody yes. wants him. Yes, that means he's incredibly unpopular. <laughs> I'm going to give him a good home. 
We need more creatures, you said. <laughs> we it's either do. that or more light the way. You can take I mean, the favor of Jukai. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's do that. Make little creature, big creature. I mean, I feel like I need to take this one, right? Yeah. Who are you? Ooh, you look neat. Uh, this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Coming home with me, white bird there. All right. Yeah. All right, look, we're taking a frog. Um, there's also a mechanic on Arena, uh, for your for your information that once you have four of a of a rare or uncommon, when you draft another copy of that card, since you can't have more than four, it gives you gems instead. Oh, that's you cool. still get you still play that card in your draft deck. Yeah, but it um, trades it in for gems. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take this mountain. Mountains going sideboards. That's the. Uh, <laughs> Did you get two of them. Oh fuck yeah! Look at this. <laughs> this deck is gonna be incredible. All right, one more pack. Holy fuck! This is it. Oh my god, that's so pretty! Holy shit! God damn it. Whenever a equipped creature dies, exile it. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero. As long as a card exile, holy shit, you put this sword on things and it eats creatures and takes their abilities, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Uh, Shaylon Z uh, says, Tokyo Draft makes me both very angry and also giggle. Somebody read the title. Yes! <laughs> oh, I didn't read the title, and now I'm upset. <laughs> I'm clever. Silver Fur Master? Fucking Splinter? Yeah. God damn it. Man, they had fun with this fucking set, didn't they? They uh, did. Wait, did we just more mech? Did we go more mech time? Oh, we're going sword. Jukai. We're going sword? This this sword is great. Taking the sword. Oh. It hurts. Too late to go black, huh? It, it's... It's a little late. It would not be the wisest decision to change colors at this point. Mm. 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 But it is... Awfully tempting, which is what the Blade of the Oni should be doing. Did you notice it's standing on its own two legs? Yes. It's real creepy. I like it very much. Equipped creature has base power and toughness five, and, uh, and it is a black demon in addition to its other colors and types. Fuck yeah, it's just shit, yeah. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Wow, that's really good. Shit. Um... Imperial Subduer. Uh, hey, a saga. Mhm. Mm hey, put a plus one. Count. Yeah, hell yeah, I like this. Can I take this saga? Is there other good shit in here? Um, yeah, you can take the saga. But is there something else I should be taking? I. The only other thing that. I, don't know I would consider. Shit keeps turning down. <laughs> Every time he shouts, maybe it's like auto leveling you, and when you're screaming, and then it turns you down. I do not scream. <laughs> I Wait. exuberantly shout. There is a oh. difference. All right. Um, I consider Jukai Preserver here. Actually, uh, it makes sure creatures bigger. It is a combat trick. It's an enchantment. It does all of the things you want your deck to do. But if I take this one, I get to keep it. That's true. That's fine. Which I've, is I've got plenty totally of valid. Got, look at I've got. Pl I'm fine. I've got plenty of fucking wild cards. <laughs> 
All right. Awesome. 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 Very fucking cool. Very cool. Unforgiving one. Uh, don't look at the black cards, dude. <laughs> All right. Scry two, gain two life, get a monk. Uh, what do we think? Um, I think either the subduer or the tanuki. We we passed a tanuki earlier, and someone in chat was like, "What about that?" It's just big. I mean, I like big. <laughs> Let's go with big. <laughs> All right. I really feel like this draft wanted us to play black and white. Uh, cool. yeah. I don't know about red, but it. We had an opportunity to switch to black, and, and we chose not to. You almost said, and you chose not to. <laughs> I did almost say that. <laughs> You're right. Uh. Do I need more? Creatures? I need more creatures. All right, let's get the creatures yeah. and then we can just fuck around. Um, that's two. So, Azusa's Many Journeys is a creature. Eventually, yeah. Eventually. Untap um, up to three lands you control. Oh, yeah, good, great, excellent. Marvelous. I love you. <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck? <gasps> Oh my god, that is so fucking gorgeous. Oh, are you fucking kidding? I uh, it's the same artist. At the it, so? And well, I'm just Sorry. letting you know that maybe if you like many of his things, you should check him out. I have to, I think, at this point. <laughs> it seeks those consumed with rage and offers burning blades. Uh, first strike. At the beginning of your end step, you may pay one. When you do, Goshen Tive Age of Force deals X damage. Ah, uh, yes. Get all the shrines. Uh, anyway. Um, how do we like the Golden Tail Disciple? Good? Um, it's pretty good when you can buff it. Ooh. Um, do we have ways to buff it? We have yeah. a Light the Way. We have a Sword. <laughs> Why Actually, yeah, I like the monk here. Fucking around. Microphone, please. I don't know. Okay. Now I'm hearing background noise. Now I'm not. Stop. Hello? Yeah, no, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just. <laughs> okay. It's a new. It's a new microphone. So. I don't know why he keeps doing that. It's not done this before. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad. This is the first time this has happened. <laughs> um. How do we like the coiling stalker then? Um, the Coiling Stalker is alright if you have, um, early creatures that can get through. I think okay. I like the, the Monk here better. The Monk here? Okay. Yeah. There we go. Fucking. Ooh. Okay. I mean, no, I'm we just gonna a, take it. We got a good card for our deck. Vigilance. Cool. You get to cast enchantments from your graveyard. This is so expensive, but I like playing one card and just being like, Samurai, fuckers! Yeah, we already have one of them, though. Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, I think Geothermal Kami. Um, it works well with sagas, because you can, like, return the saga to your hand and then play it again to get this story again. Fuck yeah, ninja. Fuck yeah, Tanuki. <laughs> or do we want another suit? I think three is too many. Go with the Tanuki. Tanuki! <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Do you want another frog? I do not want another frog. Okay. Okay. Fuck yeah. Sure. <laughs> yep, just taking it. Oh, wait. Fuck. Eh, I'll buy it later. Alright. <laughs> Get the fuck in the sideboard. I don't want to look at you anymore. I... I'll pick what I want. Get the fancy land. Let's look at how pretty it is. Really fucking pretty. Oh, yeah, let's take the other land. Get the fuck... All right, Get you have completed deck. the draft portion of the Holy draft. Holy shit, that takes a long time. Okay. All right, now we're in deck construction. All right. Um, so I need to get rid of 13 cards. Yeah, it says there is automatically added land for you. Great. Uh, you probably don't need to play the Rugged Highlands because you have no red cards here. Uh, yeah, just click just on the, it. It, it should go last, away. Uh, there we go. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> So, let's take a quick peek at our creature count. And you know what I'm doing in this? Is I'm not doing my normal thing and picking a different land for everything. I'll just keep these. <laughs> I appreciate it. I would like to play one game tonight. I, I would too. Okay. So, what do I need to do? Uh, so, let's click on your deck box to see what our stats are. 20 creatures. Alright, let's cut 5 creatures right off the bat. Cut 5 creatures. Yeah. Can I do that from in here, or do I have to actually... Do uh, no, you have to actually phys physically okay. go through. Uh, you can... Sort? You can filter if you go to the search bar. Just put in creature? Uh, you have to put in... Well, I, yeah, that should work. There you go. Okay. So these uh, are the Well, it's... A, <laughs> that's all of the... <laughs> it's all of the cards with the word creature on them, which isn't exactly what you want. You want to put a, uh, uh, da, 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 is it T? T colon creature? That looks like it did it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, great. So, five okay. creatures gotta go. Yeah. Right? Iron Apprentice, Papercraft Decoy, uh, I'm sorry, are you one of the monks? Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you want to do this yourself? Go for it. No, look, I'm I'm asking <laughs> why I want to. I don't. I don't want to just. You know, I want to know why my good boy's got to go. Um. Because he doesn't work with the rest of the deck. I get it. All yes. Right, Grab decoys. Got to go. Searchlight companion. Um. Probably. Okay. Get that's out of here. Three. Uh, we can drop the monks down to two. Um. Oh, drop. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. All right, let's let start looking at our non-creature cards. Okay. I, mean, I think we're good getting rid of these guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That. Please just assume that anything that I say has a question mark at the end. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. You go for it. Get rid of it. We still have to cut seven more cards. Uh, yeah, that can go. Uh, probably Lucky Offering. It only hits artifacts, sadly. All right. Um, commune with the spirits. Eat it. Yeah. Okay. We got we got four more cards to get rid of here. Let's go down to one dragonfly suit. Uh, so just to let chat know, there's no gain knob on this thing. It's actually uh, it, there's no knob. It's a touch. It's a touch thing, and I'm keeping everything the fuck away from it. So <laughs> uh, there's got to be some auto leveling shenanigans going on. I'll see what I can do about figuring it out because this is really annoying me. Okay, sorry, Angel, go ahead. 
Uh, one dragonfly suit. Okay. Uh, heir of the ancient fang. Where the fuck is that? Uh, it's a creature. It's in the three slot. Yeah, Earthen One says Mike's haunted. Okay. All right, two so more I... cards have to go. No, I don't. Have... Um. Honestly, I think it's probably got to be the next suit. Okay. Right. Again, always assume there's a question mark. Yeah, it's. Or we can get rid of a monk. We can. Uh, well, we have to do two cards, so both of those things then. Okay, goodbye. Okay, done. All right, right. press done. Fuck yeah. Now, there's a button to the right, uh, right above your deck that says "Add to Decks." Okay. So Add what that will deck. do is save your deck into your library of decks, okay. so that you can play it against me. All right, excellent. Let's so do that. if yeah, if you just hit the play button here, you'll be paired with a random other person on the internet who also did the same thing as you, and made a deck. Um, but I have also done that go home. earlier. Great, it's fighting time. Yeah. So this time, instead of no, you what? have to pick. You have to change the deck type. Uh, so not 60 cards. We want 40 oh, cards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now can I hit go? Now you can hit go. <laughs> okay. I didn't even get to make my tea tonight. Fucking drafting takes a long time. Earlier you were like, oh, I'll probably get to play two games. But you didn't take into account I'm an idiot. I, The challenge popped up and I missed it. So I... And now it's telling me I'm offline. Okay, I'm gonna restart arena. Oh no! It's just been sitting so here, waiting for me. Um, we'll see if it pops up when I log back in. Okay. Boy, drafting's a big pain in the butt. I'm gonna do the <laughs> timed one so that I, I'm forced to pick things fast, and I end up with a shit show, and I'll just do my best with it. Because I, I, something else I like about this game is like anybody could hand me a random deck and I would enjoy playing it and discovering what the deck was as I was playing. I would love that. Um. Okay, I've sent you a challenge. Did you, you get it? Me a challenge? I did not. Uh, oh, it canceled my challenge. Wait. <laughs> no, no, no! It canceled my challenge from that I sent you before because you told me not to cancel it. Okay, I'm gonna resend you the challenge. Please arena work. There we go. Please arena work. There we go. I will accept. I will not okay. play my goblin deck. <laughs> I will play the draft deck. Oh god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to I have to do that. <laughs> How the fuck do I do that? Wait. There you we just go. type you type there? Uh, what what shall it be called? Good. <laughs> There's no gods in this deck. It's just it's 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 the vibe I'm going into this with. Oh, that's the fucking reality chip in the background. I know what that is because I read the stories. Mmm. I should make a Kaldheim deck called Gods Help Me and just stuff it with gods. <laughs> yeah, you can Fuck do yeah. that. The rainbow bridge is good for that. I like how you just keep saying things like, you could do that, and what I hear is, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> you wouldn't win very many games, but you would certainly have a lot of fun. Oh, I should not look at your hand. This is serious I, I, competition. I, I... If it's serious competition, I can just turn this off, like, and just <laughs> applaud you and say, yay, you won. I can do that. That's fine. Like, if that's how you want to play it. No! Uh... Go! Do your best! <laughs> oh, 
that's really cool for an island. Uh... Oh yeah, yet another island that is not actually an island. Hey, it's got water in it, it's close enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole meme about that. There's like different pictures of progressively less island-like islands. Um... No, go ahead. Go ahead, block it. It's fine. It'll be fine. I am gonna block it. <laughs> hmm. Maybe that was not the best decision. That doesn't help me. All right. Sneaky ninja. <laughs> I have so many lights. <laughs> oh, I was wondering why the hell this came back to my hand. <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh, okay. I did that. Yeah, yeah. My no, my ninja did that. Did that. Thing. <laughs> what the fuck? That car is broken. Big now. Okay. Uh, back to your hand again. Cool. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that? Fucking sky turtle. Oh, he's just showing you his ass. <laughs> Oh no, that's its head. No, that's its head! Alright. I guess that's alright. <laughs> Fucking shit. Mm. That's less okay. Uh 
about that. Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ooh. Well. Can't do anything about that shit. You can block. Fucking Christ. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Uh have enough for that, so we're set to attack you. This one. <laughs> the only creature. Did you mean to discard that and not play it? Correct. Okay. You're dead. Yeah. I'll decline whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mathematically, I'm toast. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. No blocks. Oh. All right. I had spinning wheel kick, so the reason that I discarded that to get another plane is so that I could use spinning wheel kick to get rid of two of your creatures. Mm -hmm. But you fucking exiled the thing that I needed to use it, so blah. Oh, it um, would have been even worse if you used spinning wheel kick and I, I killed your key creature in response with my Basaju. So. I don't understand what you're getting at. Are you saying you could have done the shitty thing even? <laughs> no. 
It's like, I know I curb stomp you, but I could have made it worse. Like, what? What are you getting at? <laughs> uh. Never mind. Nothing. Hmm? No. No, no, no. Go Just... ahead, tell the class. <laughs> no, what are you. What, what, are you, what are you driving at, Angel? <laughs> Do you want to play it again? could have it could have been worse for you, but it was not. <laughs> That's all. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, good. No, because that that, um, that helps. I know your so leg have... is gone, but it could have been worse. <laughs> I have, I have two decks. Um, I don't know the what's the other one. Uh, the other one is blue black. If you want to play against that one again, or I could play the other one. I don't understand why so many words are coming out of your mouth to a question that was a yes or no answer. I don't, I don't get it. What are you I, doing to me? Why? I, why? <laughs> Let's play another game. All right. <laughs> There's too many choices. I do. You want to play another game? I have two decks. Congratulations. I, just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you prefer to play against that deck again, or if you'd like me to play my other one. I, I, uh, uh, I'll play the other one. More variety yeah, for chat. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I am doing my best to not take this game seriously at all. <laughs> like, I'm really... Because I don't want to... I don't want to ruin a bad... I, I don't want to ruin a good time. I just want to have oh, a good time. Oh, this hand is bad. Uh, you know what? Um, yeah, this is a bad hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yours <gonna>. too? <laughs> oh, ah, fuck myself. Uh, boo hoo boy. Um, what can we do? Oh, a whole lot of praying. That's what we can do. <laughs> um, are you gonna go to five? I'm going to five, yeah. There we go. I'm, Jesus I'm, Christ. I'm keeping my six. Well. All right, yeah. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's, let's do it. Okay. Goodbye. Hey, goodbye. Yeah! There we go. Fuck yeah, let it ride with five. Okay. Uh, who's this guy? Creepy ramen guy. There's an eyeball in the ramen. Yep. It's, it's unsettling. Yep. Yeah. It reminds me of the, uh, the, the ramen case in World of Horror. Oh, yeah. Maybe the most painful virus beetle I've ever seen. Hey, Angel? Yeah. Uh. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, um. Alright. Uh, fucking go away. Ugh. Well, thank you. Oh, <laughs> God, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad, I'm glad that happened. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, no, let's go to combat. Oh, please. I will. My auto. Draft this too? Yes! Jesus Christ. Whenever Mindling Monkey becomes proof the first time each turn, it's on to turn Mindling to copy and target my and send this forth to Jesus fuck. Yay! What do I what do I get? Yay. You get three three. Ooh, rough. My 
Find Link Mac. It. Jesus Christ. Let me read that again. Make sure I understood it. Oh, I see. Okay. Get get inside me, and we and will then, fly together. But, and you yes. are more powerful, but you're still you. Yes. So it's gonna be the ramen guy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fucking go ramen guy. Dockside <laughs> chef. All right. Why, why would you play that as the creature instead of killing my flying creature with the channel ability? Uh, because it's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Mindful Mac is already a 4-3. This thing has reach, and the channel ability is more expensive. So I can play it this turn, use it as a deterrent, or do the same effect, essentially. Trade this card for that card. Hmm, except now you've given me the opportunity to get rid of your Grove Archer and keep my mech. I, yep. It was either take the chance, like it was, it's, it's a 50-50, it's 50-50 shot. Either play it now and it works and I don't take damage for a turn, uh, or you, um, or I don't know if I get more land in order to play this as a, a channel. Oh, it's five. You already have enough land. Okay. Okay. You asked me the question. I'm trying to That's answer true. the question as to the best of my ability. I'm a baby, Angel. I'm a baby. And you're like, why Why? Why would you do that? That was, <laughs> that was dumb. Because I literally don't know any better. Why did you touch the stove? Because nobody <laughs> told me not to, Angel. <laughs> like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, that's, that's what says, I thought was the best. Yeah. It's just, it's harder for me to interact with if you channel it. That's all. Yeah. Uh, but it's still your turn. No, I can't I know. do anything. I okay. get it. But, like... Is what I said makes sense, tactically? Is what I said? I can't, apparently, grammar. Um, Does what like, I said make sense, though? If I had, like, a bunch of two-power flyers, that would make more sense. Okay. But if your plan is just block with it, and it's going to die anyway, um, then channeling it is the safer option. Okay. But you still have to wait a turn to do it. Yeah, you it, well you channel as an instant, so you you do, do it on my turn when I activate it. Okay. Ugh. Well, I hope that didn't work out for you. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I drew three lands. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna do this. Hey. hey, Earthen, when you may have missed the beginning of the stream when I said if you want to offer advice, uh, either don't ask or use the two options here, please. Uh, and I am super, super learning. Um, and I also. What happened? <laughs> What the fuck just occurred? You helped me make this deck. Why can't it do good? Finally, get the fuck out here. <laughs> uh. What in the fuck? Seriously. 
Lucy, what just happened? I... Yeah, I played the Network Destructor. I played the Searchlight Companion and then used the spirit that it made to crew the Mind Link mech. So it was a copy of the spirit for a second. Oh! Which meant that it could attack immediately? Well, because the, the mech was attacking, not the spirit. And the spirit doesn't have summoning tickets. Well, the spirit oh, does, shit. but it, yeah. Fuck. Poker Nuts says, to be fair, Jacob, you aren't running two of the rares that were on offer in the draft. Fucking Angel told me not to! I will take the blame. That's fine. It, whose fault is it? It's yeah. mine. If you're not winning and I helped you draft, then it is my fault. No, it's not that I'm not No winning. sarcasm at all. It's not that I'm not winning. It's, 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 it's the, the... I know people get very opinionated and very passionate about this game. It's, mm -hmm. uh... It's when phrases like... Mm. You made a mistake. That, and I understand that that may not be the intention, but it comes across real shit, especially to somebody who, again, is trying to find a reason to enjoy this game again. Uh, that, hearing that kind of stuff is it's, it's horrible. Um, Oh god. Uh so I would appreciate it if, if people could be a little more considerate when they want to either offer advice or helping hands. Because again, I am a baby 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 this, and I am doing my best to again find a reason why I play this game and I like playing this game. And part of the reasons why I stopped playing this game. Or or stopped and bounced off the last time. Yeah, it's not even a new creature type. They just brought it back. Um. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Eldrazi have drones? Yes. Yes? Yes! I remembered a thing, because that's the Lady Cthulhu's in the moon. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> that's how I remember it. All right, I'm going to start that playing cards now. There. Yes. Right. Alright. Can I play cards now? Because you freaked out when I played cards last time. You're like, what no, happened? No, no, no. That wasn't like a... That was more of a, you know, I don't know what happened. Things happened. I didn't freak out. Fucking shit. You're very good at drafting. I thought maybe this would go a little bit, a little, just a little bit better than last time because it's random. Uh, but, uh, uh, apparently that doesn't matter. Uh, so did, were you being nice by sending this thing back to my hand? No, it has reach. It could block my flyers. Like you can you can spend five mana to kill my four three, but then you're still dead to all my other creatures. So what you're saying is I was right earlier. <laughs> That's with, what I which thing? Which not, thing? Uh, by by not um, by not channeling this creature and putting it out as a creature. What I heard was Jacob. That was that was the correct choice. 
<laughs> I wouldn't have a mech if you had channeled it, but I would still have all these other things. Maybe just go mono red and just call it good. <laughs> that's, that's a thing you can do. Uh, the the biggest uh, advantage to drafting is just figuring out what what uh, lanes are open. Like if you notice, there's a ton of blue cards, and you start taking blue. When someone opens a blue rare, then you're gonna get it because no one else wants it because they're not playing blue. Fuck that spear. <laughs> it deserves it. You are very good at this game. <laughs> I wasn't trying to just show you up, really. How do you think that that statement makes this better? It doesn't. Okay. I'm just curious, mostly, <laughs> is why I'm asking. Uh, like, I don't come on the show with the attention to just say, I'm going to destroy Jacob today. Oh, no, that's, I, I get that's it. That's not why I'm here. Oh, no. It's that... just a side effect. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I have an acting degree and got rid of my pride a long time ago. <laughs> but I... I that, I I understand when you're like you know I don't come on this show with the intent to with the intent to 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 destroy you that that is a statement I completely understand but after having stomped somebody to utter the words I didn't mean to utterly destroy you <laughs> completely different kind of context and vibe um I which which uh. I mean, tracks with everything that, that I've experienced uh, uh, from you. Um, you are very good at this game. You are very, very good at this game. Um, <clears throat> I, I consider myself to be a fairly analytical person, and I love systems. I, I truly love systems, and I love games. Um, <clears throat> and from my... For my again, baby, baby, just in the I, I'm just I'm a pig boy who lives in the dirt, uh, looking up at at a beautiful soaring creature overhead, um, like you are very good at this game, and I am I am learning a ton, a ton. Um, <clears throat> there. I generally don't care about winning uh, for this, and I'm trying very hard not to care about winning. Um, sometimes, that, some days that's more challenging than others. Uh, it's actually, it's way easier if I'm playing against somebody I don't know, which is weird. Mm. Uh, like yes. when I play on Arena and I just get fucking curb stomped, I don't care. Unless uh, the only way that it bothers me is if somebody plays a deck that's built intentionally just to shut the other person down so they can't actually play the game. Like, mm, that's just, yeah. that's shitty. You know what you're doing. It's not clever. You're just wanking. Like, it's just, that's, I, that's spoopy. <laughs> I just don't like that. Um, uh, but, like, when I'm playing against somebody I know, especially somebody uh, who, who I respect uh, and is incredibly, incredibly good at this, um, uh, I get a little 
I, I don't know what the word is to encapsulate the the emotion. But like, I don't want to. I want to at least. I don't care if I lose, but I want to be at least a, 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 a challenge. Like, I want to be somewhere mm. close to the level that the other person is, even if I'm not winning all the time. Uh, and I'm not. I'm not quite sure why that is. Like, because I want you to have a good time too, and and just being like, all right, like I'm just gonna crush you. Um isn't always a good time you know i i, I, I want mean, there to yeah. be uh i want to be able to engage with you in this game in the way that ensures that you also have a good time because i literally can just sit here and just be like these cards are pretty holy shit look at that like and i'm just i'm happy while we were playing that yeah. i was coming up with the story of the planeswalker behind the draft deck like who that person <laughs> was and that's how i like to engage uh generally engage with the game um, yeah uh, but I feel like almost like like I'm letting the other person down a little bit if I can't also make something that is fun to play against, you know, or enjoyable in some way. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the second game wasn't your fault. I mean, you just don't draw lands. You have to mulligan sometimes. Like, it's, mulligan magic has non-games. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. I no, I I that I understand, and but that's not. I'm looking at the width and breadth of us playing together. Like that's. Mm -hmm. I'm not just talking about this game in a bubble. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, that was just. I just got. I got land humped, and then you got that really good card and dropped it down. And you're just like, why don't you discard one of those last two cards that you have? And I was like, well, I think I gotta keep the land because I don't have any land. Yeah. So I gotta keep that, or else anything else I draw, it's not gonna matter. Well, all right. Goodbye, nice card. I love you. Have fun in the graveyard. I played the land, and then like a big mana thing came up, and I was just like, "Well, fuck." <laughs> <laughs> and I understand that a lot of times, like in turns, there's the optimal play. Mm -hmm. You know, like where where you have like a lot of times, and once you get good enough at it, you kind of like know what the optimal play is. And sometimes I find that very boring. Mm, yeah. Because there's no chance to it. There's no like you, you could just have a computer play it, and it would be essentially the same. What you're doing is you've programmed a deck and now you're just watching it run. Um, hmm. And sometimes oh. I, I'm i good enough, I think, so far to see what the optimal play is. Um, insofar as I understand, uh, insofar as I understand the rules and the format of the thing. But sometimes I find that very boring. And sometimes I just want to play a thing because I want to see what my opponent's going to do. I don't know. It's weird. But I hope you had a good time. I had fun if you had fun. Oh, you see, we can't do that. That's a weird... <laughs> that's a Canadian standoff. Like, I had a good time if you had a good time. No, I, I had a good time if you had a good time. One of us has not, to say we had a good time. I'm not Canadian. I no, had fun. It, yeah, you can. It's still called like a Mexican standoff. If like to still call a Canadian standoff, doesn't you don't have to be. You got to open up your borders a little bit, Angel. Jeez, God. Yeah, I'm glad you had a good time. I did too. I had a lot of fun. And thank you for teaching me uh, how to draft. See now, now I want to try it on my own. Or yeah, at least so with you, with you there to be like, you know. Maybe yeah, we we spent a lot of time in the draft portion. I was hoping that we could get to a part where you were playing against some random person and I was on your side. Um, no, but... no, you forgot how pretty the cards are. I did. Yeah. I did forget that. And the, and the <laughs> fact that I mean, we're opening packs. Like I, I love the care and attention that's put into this game. Like and the design and everything. It's. Holy fuck. So good. So fucking good. Um, cool. Excellent. Well, I've got to go. 
But you should right. tell people, uh, you absolute fucking master, you world champion beater, where people can find you on the internet because you are an awesome person and well, well worth paying attention to online. Oh, well, thank you. You're I welcome. am AI Amethyst on Twitch and Twitter. I, uh, I do cosplay when conventions are a thing. I am a crafter and I paint uh, portraits of people's pets every Thursday at 7.30 Pacific. Um, I, don't, I haven't mentioned it on this channel, but I do it for free. And um, if people want to donate to their animal shelter when they receive a painting, I would do that. This is the last one I finished. You can see that there. That's really cool. I can't believe I didn't put this together. Uh, I will happily commission you to, uh, to and be cool, internet, because I'm going to say something uh, publicly. Uh, but you better be fucking cool. You better be fucking cool. Uh, I might... Uh, I'm going to try to get a couple of pictures of uh, my buddy Ryan, Ryan Ike, um, uh, the, the compo my, my, my very good composer yeah, yeah. friend, get a picture of a couple of his dogs, and then I'll, uh, uh, Ooh. I'll, I'll yeah, because he, he's fucking adorable with his dogs, like him, <laughs> him, him, and his, him and his wife, like, they put doggles on them, and they put them in backpacks and shit, and they're both rescues, <laughs> and they look like little fucking goblins, like, they're, uh, yeah, their their names are uh, 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 Monocle and Bats. <laughs> they're just so fucking great. They're great, and yeah, so yeah, that I can't believe I just put that together. I'm gonna definitely commission you to do that. All right, <clears throat> uh, I I refuse any money for it. Um, and you well, can also find me on uh, the Loading Ready Runs Can't Draw Horses Club coming up on March twenty first at one p.m. Pacific. Oh, nice. Uh, where will we be um, drawing mazes? Um, and then also on the Bard's Playhouse, um, Sin City by Night. The first prologue has gone up. I'm not in it, but mine is coming up soon. And uh, that is a Vampire the Masquerade Fifth Edition. Live play. What what is that? I've never I've never heard of that before. What's what's vampire? Uh, it is a tabletop role playing game, oh. um, where you pretend to be somebody you're not, but oh. God, I am so pretending to be uh, a Nosferatu. Oh, that's cool. That's cool as hell. I Her I, name... I, I immediately what? broke my own kayfabe. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nosferatu. Hey, that's really neat. Um, <laughs> that's fucking cool as shit. I, I'm done. I've, oh, okay, cool. Excellent. That's all. Uh, I'm Jacob Burgess. I help run Yizrid Games, uh, which is the indie game publisher whose channel you're watching right now. Uh, you can follow me at Jacob Burgess VO. Uh, join our Discord, discord.gg backslash Yizrid Games. Uh, we have a um, uh, a lot of really cool fucking people uh, around. Fucking shit. I'm going to get this goddamn microphone fixed uh, by threatening to throw it into the goddamn ocean. It's um, so loud now. <laughs> Is that better? I turned you down. Okay. All right. That's probably for the best. Um, <laughs> I'm going to fix this fucking thing because <laughs> apparently it's like, hey, son, you're way too loud. I'm going to I'm gonna tone you down a little bit, um, which please don't ever do that to me. I, I will throw you into the sea. Um, uh, yeah, we have a Discord. Discord.gg backslash Yesbird Games. Uh, it's very cool. Check out our games at Yesbird.net. Um, I'm going to be at the Game Developers Conference later this month. And uh, yeah, and also thank you to our mods uh, for modding tonight and being great and being moddy, moddy, moddy. Um, we got some cool stuff coming up and some neat announcements coming up for Yizrid, uh, which I think I can start talking about some stuff soon. Ooh. Like in a month, maybe two. I've got a lot of media appointments at GDC, if that tells you anything, because that's not under NDA. That's literally the only thing I can say. Fucking shit. Um, anyway, yes. Angel, thank you very much for being here uh, and for teaching me uh, about drafting. Um, do you want to... Do you want to play again next Tuesday if you got time? <laughs> I can. I don't... Do you want to... Do you want to? I don't... 
I can. I can. There's nothing actionable I can do with that. <laughs> You're like, I can. Cool. I would love to. Thank you. Oh my god, are you sure you aren't Canadian? Are you positive? I wish I was. <laughs> oh, god. I'm, a, I'm a Canadian at heart. I... <laughs> I got maple running through my veins, I swear to God. <laughs> Jesus, thank you. I, 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 I would love to do this because I want to, um, uh, I want to try fucking around with this draft deck a little bit more. Uh, or we can do another draft. I can do it, you know, we can try to do it much quicker. Uh, yeah, I want to help you play against other people. I would love that. I would actually like to be on the same team for once. That would be <laughs> Uh, it's, it is in paper, but Arena doesn't support it. Oh, no, I'm just, in general, it still exists. Again, I'm just... Yeah. I, I yeah, it still exists. Memory, I'm remembering things from the old times. Because that format literally just came out, uh, and was, was, uh, in some of the rule books, uh, uh, in, uh, in deck books. So, yeah, it's, it's my favorite way to play pre-releases is me me and my son on a team together he is 18 it's not cute <laughs> you know he knows i say that <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not. No, because teens are gross. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you, everybody. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of others. Keep your spirits up. We'll see you around the Discord uh, and social media and all that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for just being amazing. Um, this was. Uh,